Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you could see it and you could purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. Today we're discussing a boutique edition made from 2007 to 2008. This is the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore Scuba Reference 15701ST and this was one of the earliest examples of a Royal Oak Offshore Diver. Following the earlier Vempa Special Edition, this started the tradition of a diving style offshore permanently in the Royal Oak catalog, which to date has set Audemars Piguet apart from its ultra high horology rivals, Vacheron Constantin Langa and Patek Philippe. The timepiece is 42 millimeters in stainless steel and on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, it wears like no other Royal Oak offshore, at least no other 42 millimeter offshore. The watch is 42 millimeters in diameter, but because of the JLC based movement inside and the lack of a chronograph complication, the watch is only 12.8 millimeters thick, making it only as thick as a Rolex GMT. Now the timepiece is still broad from lug to lug, 54 millimeters case flank to case flank, and if you include the plots, these intermediate links, they are rigid, they do flare out, they increase the effective span across the wrist to a mighty 58.6, but don't be afraid because this particular strap, the diver style vulcanized rubber, is the most flexible and wrist friendly of all the options, that is straps and bracelets available from Automobile. Audemars Piguet. The timepiece, I'm going to pop it off my wrist real quick, features an Audemars Piguet factory vulcanized rubber strap that's handsomely made. It's a cut strap with a satin finish and you can see that the bevel from the case band continues perfectly through the flank. The definition of the plots continues all the way down the band itself. There are large individual apertures to match the pin of the buckle, and as you can see, the pin buckle is AP branded and satin steel just like the case. Now, the case back features the image of the original Audemars Piguet manufacturer building in Le Brasseau, and the presence of a solid case back means this watch is thinner, and that's going to be very important. Note the double finish, a combination of satin finish or media blasting and relieved polish. It's handsomely executed, and as you can see, a boutique exclusive. You can see on the flank, it is an offshore. It features the large modular buildup with the main case, the lug hoods profile, the hand finished bevels along the side that flare from the mid case, the perfect continuation of the folds of the bezel angle into the facets of the case and the case back, and then of course you have the satination across the top of the bezel as well as the lug hoods. You also have the full expression of the bezel gasket, which is only a hairline element of a conventional Royal Oak, but definitely one of the styling elements and deliberately so of the offshore. You can see the bolts, which on an offshore are stainless steel, perfectly aligned around the bezel. Of course, they are slightly countersunk, and you know you're looking at a fresh AP bezel when the bolts in the bezel of a Royal Oak or offshore are recessed below the satin plane of the bezel hood. Now, the dial is a mega tapis and as you can see, it's a bit of a two-mode mega tapisserie. The center features the legendary hobnail, but then outboard there's a sort of satin black track underneath applique white gold Arabic numerals, white gold hands at center, and a red flange or rejo outboard that acts as a unidirectional rotating internal bezel. So once you unscrew the adjuster, you can see it's a ratcheting system that you can adjust with ever removing your hand, and you line up the index with the minute hand, and now you have an impromptu zero to 60 minute timer. I actually find this more practical, more intuitive, and easier to read than the chronograph on, well, any chronograph, but especially the Royal Oak Offshores. You can see that it's also a little bit more attractive than some of the offshores, as the date is relatively flush to the dial. There's no modular complication on top of the base caliber. Now, the watch does feature all of the underlying virtues of the JLC 890 base movement. You can see that there are is a stop seconds mode. Let's just make sure we're out of the date change danger zone. And look, it's good, we made that adjustment. There's also a quick set system. In addition to hacking seconds, you get a quick set system so you can rapidly cycle the date. Automatic winding it features a 38 hour power reserve and it beats away at a modern beat rate of 28,800 vibrations per hour. Now this latter version known as Audemars Piguet manufacturer caliber, and we're going to use that term very loosely, uh, 2325. It is a later version of the 889, the 890 series. So it uses unidirectional winding with ceramic rotor bearings, very efficient as well as sealed for life. You're never going to need to pay for a rotor bearing replacement. There's also a free sprung architecture that's more shock resistant with a laser welded hairspring at the stud and collet. So it's tougher than previous JLC 889s, but it remains just as thin, adjusted in a chronometer style, five positions, 32 joules. It's a high horology movement from a high horology house. And remember, Audemars Piguet and JLC have 
links dating back to the 1870s at the inception of Audemars Piguet when Jagère Lecoultre was just Lecoultre. Right up until 2000, also recall, Audemars Piguet owned 40% of JLC. So a JLC movement inside an Audemars Piguet is a match made in horological heaven and very historically true. I'll also add that the 38 to 48 our power reserve movement is water resistant down to 300 meters so as it's ticking away it is a true dive rated watch ISO 6425 it's not merely a hundred meters like the standard Royal Oak chronographs this one is ready to get wet and very wild you can see the Royal Oak offshore scuba and make it yours on the watch box Audemars Piguet Royal Oak offshore scuba note that the bezel is fully loomed internally as are all three hands including seconds an exemplary dive watch